So the, the second wave of disruption is uh, really linked to the fourth industrial revolution and the biggest uh, and the most frequently asked question I get is what's going to happen to our, our jobs uh, with that. So it's you know algorithmic um, uh, ways of doing things, research, mass customization, um, the, the robotics that, that come into manufacturing, all of those kind of things which is very real and it's happening now. So it's really to, to try and understand um, what that is and you know there was a slide about a, a collapsing of a value chain so so where do you sit in that value chain you know are you a third-party intermediary for an insurance company are you a travel agent those kind of things and, and where does that leave you um, in terms of, of making your job relevant uh, within the space that we're coming through so I think the, the most important things are really about understanding the, the, the cross-industry impact because I think people are so fixated on their own industry they don't look at the neighboring or ancillary industries um, which, which for me the, the lines are blurring more and more um, and suddenly something that happens in hospitality becomes a huge problem in healthcare or something like that or, or, or similar technologies are being um, adopted so, so that's, a, that, that, that's one of the things um, I'm talking about and then it's about reskilling or understanding that your skills are hybrid as well um, because what stunts most um, innovation trajectories for companies is the fact that they are siloed they're very hierarchical um, it's an old 20th century corporate structure and you know I, I said in the, the presentation that's we, we're trying to get into a driverless car but we're using a old stick shift manual to try and operate the car it's just not going to work you need a different way of thinking you need a different time time uh, sort of time, time, time zones, all of those kind of things to, to be able to do that. Um, and it's just really how to, to keep your head above water. And I think if you have to boil it down, it's about continual learning, upskilling all the time, um, and then just being aware that uh, of what other industries are, are, are doing and getting, <coughs> oh, sorry, and getting skills that you might think aren't related to your job or industry but suddenly you en end up in a completely different industry or a different sector um, and then suddenly those those the skills are, are are very very relevant so it's being so companies talk about being agile I think in a personal realm it's about being agile yourself talk, give us your take on the state of disruption in South Africa is it lagging behind the rest of the world you gave some international examples yeah. in your presentation I think in South Africa we we don't we lag behind and we don't lag behind so you know you you see especially on the on the say on the african continent you know mobile mobile uh, payment systems have leapfrogged the developed world you know in south africa we are doing things say logistics and delivery small company in cape town one drop does what they do in india you don't deliver to the place you deliver to the geotag on the phone you deliver to the person so we i think we're not short of ideas we're short of corporate and big company appetite to support it and to give um, an enabling environment for those innovative ideas to, to flourish. Um, and I think we hang on and cling on to 20th century models of the way in which we're doing things um, to our detriment. Mm. And finally, you're a trend analyst. Yes. We've talked about the second wave of disruption. How long is it going to last and will there be a third wave, do you think? Um, I think if I d divide what, uh, I think the second wave will last quite a long time. I think we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg of the automation, but it's happening very, very fast. So the algorithms are taking over uh, really quickly. Um, the commercial internet of things is going to be slower, but the industrial internet of things is already well uh, put in place. I think the part of it will, which will take longer is, um, which I did tag onto it, which is the sort of virtual reality, augmented reality, the, the, the metaverse um, of, of, of doing um, education, training, in that very exciting but quite puzzling parallel universe uh, which is which is uh, you know come at us so I think the, the second wave will will drag on um, and then that third wave will be just the new stuff uh, which is uh, the cyberspace we haven't explored properly yet